Hi, I'm Sarah Breening. I am an ultrasound tech at um, Mercer Health. Okay, so how much do you, well, do sonographers generally make for their salary? Um, they can make anywhere between $22, $21 an hour to $31 an hour here. Um, what are your hours? We schedule patients from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. Um, and so the, the ultrasound tech right at our facility works first shift, but they are on call second and third shift when they are not here. Okay, what are their benefits? Benefits for a sonographer are the same as any other employee that works here at the hospital. They get vacation time, sick time, personal time, um, paid holidays. They get pay raises when everybody else does. They have a pension. Okay. Um, what are the main qualifications for this career? You can either... You have to be registered um, with an organization called ARDMS, which is the National Sonographers um, like Association. Mm -hmm. You have to take a registry through them um, after you complete school, and you have to pass those, and that gives you your license. Okay. Um, what interests should you have for this career? You have to like to work with people because you have patients all day long. Um, you have to be independent, self-motivated. Mm -hmm. um, and is there like, like promotions that you could get for this job, like different levels? I would say not exactly here. Um, if you were going to, at, I would think at any facility, you would start out as just a sonographer and you could come up to a head sonographer, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. What does this job entail? Um, we have a schedule full of patients in the day, and so whatever is on your schedule, you perform that exam. Um, you have to make the patient comfortable, you have to explain the um, exam to the patients, you have to complete the exam, fill out paperwork, and then give it to the radiologist and be able to answer any questions that the radiologist has. Um. What's, what would be like an average day for you here? We would do probably between, I would say, 8 and 15 ultrasounds a day. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give to someone pursuing this career? I think it's a good profession to go into. Um, you also have to be willing to either be on call or work weekends and holidays, so you do have to realize that. Um, you work with all different kinds of people in the community, and they are very, they are varied in what they, their demands are and their personalities, and you have to be able to deal with all those. Mm -hmm. How long is schooling? If you, you can either come in as go to school to be an x-ray tech, which is two years, and then do um, an additional year after that um, to get your ultrasound um, certificate, or you can go to a four-year ultrasound school. Because I read that there was like, um, 
um, more people were like wanting you to go for your bachelor's because I read you could get your associates or bachelor's but do you think like more people want you to get your bachelor's? I was the four-year schools are bachelor's they'll give you your bachelor's and I actually I think even with just going if from an x-ray tech going back to school for a year I think you end up with your bachelor's mm -hmm. so I think most of them do get their bachelor's Did I already ask what interest should you have for this career? Okay. Okay, I think that's it. But I had my own question. What um, colleges do you think would like be the best to, in Ohio? For in Ohio. Um, we have hired a few from Kettering. I'm familiar with Kettering. Mm -hmm. Um, I am not sure, I'm, I would assume Ohio State would have an ultrasound program, the University of Cincinnati may have one. That's what I looked at. Yeah. Um, I just know Kettering just because we have had grads that came from Kettering, mm -hmm. but I'm not saying any of them better than the other. I know Finley is just now starting a program, so that is another thing. I don't know too much about those. Okay. And then in Indiana, I know that IU has some. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you. <laughs>